The question regarding the difference between silicon air and lithium ion technology. You have to realize that silicon air by energy density is roughly five times than lithium ion. What is the bottleneck of silicon air that you cannot recharge it by plugging it in? Lithium ion can plug in and no problem with that. The solution that we are offering now is a silicon air or as you call it silicium air is just simple. You just have to replace the anode or the cathode once they are clogged, so-called. So once it's being used, utilized, you can change it. It's possible to do that. But silicon air, the understanding of silicon air can open the door for new technologies of metal air to be evolved. And this might win the paradigm of lithium ion because lithium ion is quite its energy density is quite low. So we need to think of how the knowledge in silicon air can correlate to better batteries, new batteries, novel technology. And therefore silicon air is just the early bird, we call it, for what would come next. Okay. In a test that we did with Rudiger, uh, Rudiger Eichel, Professor Eichel, we showed the, the, dramatically that once you add water in small amount up to 15% into the electrolyte, you have extended life. This is unbelievable and we explained it by the way that we are actually forming the silica in the solution rather in the air cathode. This is interesting by itself, we published a paper on that of course and uh, we showed there that if this kind of rationalize can be adapted to other metal air system that would be very good. Well regarding the temperature we are work, uh, the silicon air can work between minus 20 degrees C up to 300 degrees C. Not a problem at all. So the, the, the seeds of technology that are being implanted into silicon air mechanism, understanding, can provide us new look into other systems and maybe adopt some of the unique advantage of this technology. The, the easy solution is wherever you have microelectronic, you have silicon chips. If you have silicon chips, there, something has to power them. Maintaining the memory, whatever you can put on the back of the silicon chip the air membrane with a solid electrolyte polymer based on the ionic liquid and you can power your chip. So for example for wireless sensor devices it's excellent and you're utilizing the silicon for an extended time of usage. So this is excellent from our perspective of thinking the future. Another additional area is uh, medical applications where you need energy and you need it once. You don't need to charge it or anything. Just use it and then forget about it. Silicon air is a good example of doing that. Silicon air, there is no, there is immediate and clear answer. There is no pollution. You are taking silicon, you are oxidizing it into silica, which is sand or quartz, and that's it. I'm not a prophet, nobody is a prophet, you know, from Moses to Moses there is no prophet, it says. But nevertheless, the thinking of what would happen in 10 years is along the way something will pop up, will come out. Yeah. If it, even it would be silicium air or lithium air or magnesium air, it has to utilize oxygen as the reactant. Otherwise, we are stuck in lithium ion, which is not too bad, but it's not good enough for us.